Now in this video, we'll try to understand a queuing mechanism of fair queuing and weighted fair queuing. So first we'll start with the fair queuing. Fair queuing is a method of sharing the resources equally among all the flows. It's also called as maximum uh, minimum fairness, where all the flows, let's say if you have some different flows, all the flows will share the resources equally. Like take an example here. Uh, let's take an example. I have some 100 kbps of bandwidth which is available and this 100 kbps of bandwidth has to be divided between 10 different flows and each and every flow. Now if you divide 100 divided by 10 which means each and every flow will get around 10 kbps of bandwidth. So all the flows will get equal share of forwarding the traffic. Now let's take an example in case out of this 10 flows there are two flows just using only 6 kbps of bandwidth. So for the two flows, they just need only 6 kbps of bandwidth, whereas the remaining 4 kbps is unused and it's going to be total 8 kbps. This, this remaining 8 kbps will be shared between all the remaining 8 flows. Now here you can see it allows the sharing of the flows where unclaimed bandwidth with other flows. Now FairQ is a mechanism where it allows the sharing of the flows. That's what it is doing, sharing of the flows. Uh, whatever the unclaimed bandwidth or the one used bandwidth is going to share with the other flows. Now uh, let's take an example if if there are two flows which has excess of bandwidth share like maybe there is a flow which which needs around 15 kbps and 15 kbps excess of 10 because as per my calculation on the average each flow should get of 10 kbps then they get the maximum possible share the, they are going to get the maximum possible share again based on the other flows if the other flows are not using they can still send excess of the traffic based on the unclaimed or the unused bandwidth by the different flows now the next thing we have something called weighted fair queuing weighted fair queuing is the enhanced version of the fair queuing method where it is going to assign the weight in each and every flow now based on the weight uh, there, there might be scenarios where you may need a specific flow to forward huge uh, more more packets to be sent rather than when you compare with other flows. So in those kind of scenarios we can apply some specific weight so that uh, one particular flow will send more number of packets when compared to the other other flows. But the main difference between the um, the main advantage we get in the weighted fair queuing is it is going to allocate the bandwidth completely based on the weight and that weight is again based on the IP presence values or the reservations, reservations done by some RSVP, a legacy protocol used for reservations. Now based on that, it's going to assign the weight. Now the default formula it uses for assigning the weight, uh, weight is equal to K value, K divided by presence value plus one. Now the default weight is something varies depending upon the IBIS versions. Now, if you're using 12.0 or the earlier versions, it's going to take 4096. Or uh, prior to this 12.0 versions, it's going to use 32384 is the is the is the value which is used in the calculation. Now, the lower the weight, the higher the priority and share of the bandwidth here based on these formulas. Now, the now the addition of the weight is completely based on the presence values. Now, let's take an example here. I got three different flows. And in these three different flows, I got one value with a presence value of five. And, and the size of the packets, I got three different packets, 128 bytes, 128 bytes, and 128 bytes. And in general, in a normal, now if you're using something like normal fair queuing, without weighted fair queuing, the normal fair queuing, it's going to ensure that your low size packets to be sent first before it starts sending the high, the bigger size packets. Now the fair queuing will ensure that your small size packets will not get delayed or dropped and it's going to ensure that your small size packets will be always forwarded first. But whereas in case of weighted fair queuing, it's not only going to see the size of the packet, it's going to see the presence value. Now based on the presence value, it's going to decide which packet should be forwarded first. Now here it's going to forward A1, A2, A3 initially first because of the higher presence values and then it's going to forward c1 because of the in fact these these both these values have the same presence values so it's going to see the small size packets and it will ensure that your small small size packets get forwarded now the main difference between the fair queuing and the weighted fair queuing is uh, in case of fair queuing it will ensure that your small size packets small packets 
uh, will will get a more priority or forwarded first and that will ensure that your big size packets like ftp downloads you have a very big packets it will not eat up all your bandwidth and it will ensure that your small packets will get a chance to forward immediately when compared with the big size packets but whereas in case of weighted fair queuing uh, that will be decided based on the size of the packets along with the uh, weight value that is the presence values now if you if you verify the default queuing mechanisms on the serial interfaces like if you are using any any link with a speed of 2 mbps or less than that by default on the slow speed links you have the default queuing mechanism will be weighted fair now you can verify with a command called show interface and the name of the interface and if you are using high speed links like ethernet or fast ethernet links above 2 mbps the default queuing mechanism will be always first in first start now if you want to change this mechanism we can change like if you want to change the default queuing mechanism to weighted fair queuing we just need to enable fair queue command so it does only only simple command we need to enable prior to the 15.ifs versions now there are some additional parameters you can configure like congestion discard threshold uh, which is going to tell the maximum number of packets uh, to be used and the default is 64 and we can also define some dynamic how many queues you can create default it's going to uh, make sure that there are 256 flows few queues now these are all optional parameters now if you want to enable we just need to go to the interface and enable this command called fair queue but if you are using some new ios versions 50.0 ios versions now this fair queue command is not uh, no more supported in the on the interface we need to define this under the policy map and then that policy map we need to apply on the interface okay and to verify this again once you add this command so you can use show interface s1 by 0 you can see the queuing mechanism will be class based queuing now we'll talk about more on this like class based weighted fair queuing okay which is uh, which is something we'll be we'll be seeing in our next session somewhat advanced queuing mechanisms like class based weighted fair queuing and low latency queuing but right now in this section we 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 are just gone through with the default fair queuing mechanisms and the weighted fair queuing so we didn't differentiate the traffic based on the classes now the major advantage we get uh, with the fair queuing is it's it's very simplified configurations and drop the packets with of the most aggressive flows with the large size packets will be dropped in case if there is a congestion it's something supported on most of the platforms but the major drawback with this weighted fair queuing is there is a lack of control over classification so we are not manually classifying the traffic we are not differentiating the voice traffic with ftp traffic it's going to do it on its own okay so and again if you are using a low speed links probably this weighted fair queuing is supported it's it's something not supported on the on the high speed links so we cannot provide a fixed ba bandwidth guarantees again there's no guarantee for a fixed amount of bandwidth for your voice or video traffic 